Dixon! Last year was fun, but this year has been even more fun, if that's possible. <laughs> what did she say? I'm so sorry. What? I'm having a moment. When I go into the show, I don't have a preconceived idea, you know, about what particular type of act I want to see. And obviously I come from the world of singing and music and dance, but I'm really open-minded when it comes to the talent that walks through the door. There's a few acts that did a few things that genuinely surprised us and that we'd never seen before. And that's what you want. And I'm confident that the audience is going to love it. That was amazing. Going forward, I'd love to see this just get bigger and bigger. Well, I call the panel my new dysfunctional family, all from completely different walks of life, but somehow work very well together, get on really well, laugh more than we probably should at work. <laughs> I do have a favourite judge, I do. Um, it would be Amanda. She's very, very funny. It was really, really no, it was bad, bad with bad sauce badly poured all over it. And she's sharp and I like her a lot. <laughs> this year, there really has been girls versus boys. I mean, last year, David and Simon ganged up on me. This year, I've had Amanda next to me. A pair of us have not taken any crap from the boys and keep them in their place. A few things in there that I've not seen before. Well, I don't know why you're doing... And there has been a divide on a few occasions and quite a few arguments concerning certain acts where the boys stick together and the girls stick together. So it'll be quite interesting to see. Uh, and I'm with David, I'm going to say no. Unbelievable. Maybe we just reached that point where we've had enough of each other. Maybe we have. Yeah, maybe we just have. Well, I think the bromance is continuing, mainly in David's head. <laughs> look, You're going to have to get off. Oh, you missed that. David, they were holding hands. David. Look. My highlights so far this series have been the banter between the judges, the diverse talent that we've had, surprising acts, um, some great comedians and ventriloquist acts, incredible singers. Who are you? We are the E3 brothers. Whereabouts are you from? Hertfordshire, Hemel Epstein. Oh, new me! Oh, really? Oh, I'll see you later then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Alicia, she made a career miming. You know, you can do. Oh, Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're bucking up the wrong tree then. Watch the finale, what will watch the finale? Watch the finale, what will watch the finale? Watch the finale, what watch the finale? Watch the finale, what watch the finale? Yeah, ha ha! Yellow, yellow, watch the finale, what will watch the finale? We said, what would I watch the finale? Watch the finale. 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 Watch it's the only way I can describe it really. But I don't feel sick or anything like that. I just feel like I need to just go at a Jamaican place. <laughs> oh, is that your restaurant? Yeah, By the way, this doesn't normally happen. Yeah. I'm test driving this Nissan. I, I, I'm going to get one of this. Brilliant. And then we'll come and eat in your no restaurant. No pollution. No pollution. No pollution. Nissan Leaf is the solution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's never a dull moment. So Alicia, what's happened with your boyfriend? It's one a month, Simon. Seriously? <laughs> Of course not. No, I don't think she's like that at all. You don't? No. I think she's much worse. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Take two. Why is the lid open? Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Do you have a favourite judge of all the judges here? Alicia. <laughs> Well, if you ask the question, yeah. there's always a possibility it's not going to be you. I met you, Alicia, when I was 15. I was on a hair and beauty course, and the hairstylist, which was my teacher, your Sharon. hair... Yes. Uh, had a prep talk, and he was asking us um, what we'd like to do in the future, and I mentioned music, and you told me to stick at education first. <laughs> <laughs> really good advice. That's a shocker. Yeah, she does that to a lot of people. Don't follow your dream. Do you DCSEs? I meant, I meant, it's always good to have a fallback plan because that's the music right. industry yeah, is yeah, difficult. Yeah, that's, that's where you were coming from, yeah, right. Girls, <laughs> yeah, do you know what, don't listen to them.
Alicia. Can Alicia Dixon... Stop. What do you think it is, Alicia? I don't Go know and I don't rehab. care. <laughs> and Alicia Dixon goes straight to rehab. Let's see what the answer is. Can yes! Alicia Dixon twerk? Yes! yes! And she twerk. Yes! Hold on, hold on. Can you? Yes, but not in this skirt. Oh, listen, come on. Yes. Come on! Oh, look at that. If only we get a camera down there. Can In anybody on the judge panel twerk? Yes, yeah, clearly you've never seen anyone twerk. Right. Because they don't do it in this. No, the answer is no, she can't. There you go. Let's yes, go to Davey Williams. I got a man with two left feet. And when he dances not to the beat, I really think that he should know. And that his rhythms go, go, go. Sing! I am a man with two left feet. And when I'm dancing not to the beat, I really I think that you should know. And that is with them, go, go, go. Does he wash up? He never wash up. Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up. Does he brush up? He never brushed up. Tell him, Gary. He does nothing to bother. Does he wash up? He never wash up. Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up. Does he brush up? He never brushed up. Sing it out. He does nothing. The boy does nothing. Hey, boy, how you been? I got a thousand lines to do up the skin. And I've been here, been there, traveling. I saw you at the corner of my five kids in there. A choo-choo, I caught you. Well, I'm tired jeans, I'll build my shoes. Kind of like you were just 17. I asked you for the dancing. You said yes, please. Take a sip of dancing juice. Everybody's on to you and to the left and to the right Everybody feel the rhythm getting down tonight We're gonna feel the beat within my soul I need a man to take control I Let the melody go you all the way Okay, let's go! Does he wash up? He never wash up Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up Does he brush up? He never brushed up hey! He does nothing, the boy does nothing. Wash up, he never wash up. Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up. Does he wash up? He never brushed up. Tell him that. He does nothing, the boy does nothing. Woo! Yeah! Clap your hands. The boy does nothing with the man that does everything. It's the Gary Barlow. Tell him. Work it out now, work it, work it out now. Do the mumbo, shake it all around. Everybody on the floor, let me see you clap your hands. Woo! I wanna see you work. I wanna see you move your body and turn. I wanna see you shake your hips and learn. I wanna see you work it, work it, work it out now. I wanna see you work. I wanna see you move your body and turn. I wanna see you shake your hips and learn. I wanna see you work it, work it, work it out now. Does he wash up? He never wash up. Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up. Does he brush up? He never brush up. He does nothing. The boy does nothing. Wash up. He never wash up. Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up. Does he brush up? He never wash up. He does nothing. The boy does nothing. The man can dance. He gets the second chance. The one we're hanging on. The man can dance. Second chance. 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 A lot of nice rings, sir. Can I borrow that one, please? This one? Okay. Yeah, please. Perfect. Actually, you hold on to that for a minute. Okay. Right here, I actually have a handkerchief. There's nothing in it. I'll take the ring there. Now, I'm going to put it in the handkerchief. Here. This. 
perfect. If you can just hold on to your ring, please. Okay. All right. Now, I'll just move this over. Now, Alicia, you're holding on to your ring. You can still feel it, yes? Yes. Okay, watch. Hold it up nice and high. Okay, if I just grab it by the corners, it's vanished. <laughs> wow. Where's it gone? All right. Now, Simon, my mom told me that it's your birthday this year. You're turning 80. So, I brought you a gift. <laughs> if you would like to open up your gift, you can just take it out by the ribbon. Okay. Now you can undo the ribbon and open the box. Thank you. Watch. Watch, I got you a watch, Simon. Oh, that's a very nice watch. Okay, would you like to put out your left hand for me, please? My left hand, okay. Perfect. Now, I'm going to unscrew the back of the watch. Just like that. Now, in this watch, is something very special. Crazy! Alicia! Whoa! Can you please take out what's in the watch? Oh my goodness! Wow! That's very good! Alicia, is that your ring? That is my ring! Now, Alicia, they say to never do the same trick twice, but today I feel like a rebel, so I'm gonna break that rule. Okay. Can I please have your ring again? Okay. Let's get my magic wand. Okay, watch. It's vanished. Now, Alicia, there's been a lot of amazing magicians on Britain's Got Talent, and a lot of them have done sleight of hand, okay? But today I'm going to do something completely different. Okay. And I call this sleight of foot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Of course, you've got your brand new single out. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we have a, a little nugget What's of happening? the video? Why didn't you be in the video? Well, you didn't ask me. Yes, I did, liar. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I did, I asked all of you. That is nonsense. And you all blew me out. Well, let's, let's see a little bit. OK. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. Tim, I'm going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of the runners. Right. Patriarch of the AGT family, right? <laughs> so what do people call you around the set, around the studio? What do they call me? Yeah, do they call you dad? <laughs> hey, Pop! Hey, Pop! <laughs> Yo, Pop! <laughs> I could reach you. I would high-five you. <laughs> oh. <That's fine. laughs> How is this for us? Eight years and eight years BGT. On the, yeah. Do they call you mum? <laughs> <laughs> auntie, auntie. When I've done eleven years, I'll be mum. <laughs> Howie, I meant that only in the best way possible. <laughs> Today's been really funny because when I woke up this morning, I was breathing calmly, didn't have a headache, had a good breakfast, and the minute I put my my um, backpack on, I just felt really emotional. And um, <laughs> for the first 200 metres was cr of the walk, I was just crying, and I don't know why. And then I really started to enjoy it, relaxed, could see the top of the mountain, it was beautiful and just really enjoyable. And then a bit further on, I just started to feel a little bit dizzy, so I've had to stay at the back. I don't want to slow anyone down, but I just feel like um, a little bit, it feels like you're drunk. It's the only way I can describe it, really. But I don't feel sick or anything like that. I just feel like I need to just go at a Jamaican place. <laughs> I did a little prayer earlier as well. I was laughing. I went for a wee. But this bird was just jumped like a metre away from me. I was like, wildlife, because I was really surprised to see this bird. And it, you know, in England, obviously, the birds don't really, well, apart from pigeons. But it came really close, which is quite sweet. And then, um, and then when I felt dizzy and I was being escorted over to the rock, I felt like a wally, because you don't want really to look like the drama queen. And I stood behind the rock and I was like, please God, just get me to the top of this mountain. <laughs> like you actually felt like you have to pray, because it, you know, it's mind consuming. It's more of a mental battle than it is physical, because my legs and my feet feel fine. So luckily, and it's, it's really weird that the walking is actually the easiest part. Um, it's, all, it's, all, it's all in your mind. So, uh, but no, I'm ready to keep going and, just take it easy and 
trying to focus on the, the next camp rather than the top but obviously that's difficult when you can see it it's in front of you so everyone give it up oh, for your britain's got talent oh, judges <laughs> like have a little look um i'll take truth you are to oh, oh nice okay oh. let's go truth and it's tom hello tom <laughs> there's tom what's your question tom <laughs> what just happened um, dad came home <laughs> and found him using the computer <laughs> tom what is your question fire away um out of your fellow judges oh, which would you snog marry or avoid oh. Oh. Uh, I'll die on a, in a plane crash. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, no, no. He's, he's a snog snog joke about it's that. Good. Well, I will. Alicia, right, that's snog. Really Who are you going to snog? Oh, I can't. Exactly. Yes, you have to. I'm Alicia. Oh, I'd snog Amanda. Snog Amanda. Oh. Let's see it. We did already. We did already. A little, a little peck. A little peck on the lips. Oh. Love you. <laughs> right. Mary? Who would you marry? I'd marry Simon for the money. <laughs> <laughs> that's my girl. That's my girl. Process of elimination. Oh. <laughs> and I'd avoid David because he's married. Oh. Yes, yes. There you go. Yes, I'm married to a supermodel. He's married yes, to a no, supermodel. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
One of the funniest things I think we would all agree that we saw on stage this year was Hackenberg. I think he was Danish. His act started with dry ice and he kind of glided on and we all just thought he was going to be some dodgy danger act. But actually he was like a Tommy Cooper-esque bird man. He had loads of birds, which I know Alicia was like, are they real? And they weren't. Um, and they were kind of made out of paper and he kept saying, they're alive, he's alive, he's alive. And uh, the thing that really, where I lost it, aside from the fact the act was really funny, was where David gave his critique and used a swear word to describe Hackenberg. And then when Hackenberg left the stage with four yeses, he pointed at David and called him exactly what David had said. Um, and that made us really, really laugh and the audience completely lost it. I think the funniest moment for me this series has been all the different ways that us judges have traveled to work. <laughs> particularly loved the, the bikes, the silly little bikes, um, and when Simon crashed, yes. It's really hard for me to give you my top three of Series 14 BGT, because everyone was fantastic this year, but if I was pushed, I'd say obviously my golden buzzer, Honey and Sammy, Hackenberg, because he made me laugh so much, because so silly and David Walliams's golden buzzer sign along with us that quiet I mean I think I will never forget that it's always so hard picking your top three auditions I just can't like genuinely and it wouldn't be fair on the other contestants there have been so many outstanding performances and I can't call it this year it's anyone's for the well, I'm here with the air Miss Dixon okay thanks Five minutes to air, Miss Holden. I'll be right there. <gasps> Mr. Williams? Five minutes, sir. Mr. Williams? <sighs> Mr. Cow? Can you give me a bit longer? Oh, I must be struggling with the childcare thing. Oh. Thank you. Baby Simon! <laughs> That's my boy. Hello, testing! Hello, testing! One, two, one, two, my check. Stephen Mulhern, coming correct. See? ITV2. Once you get going, you can't stop. <laughs> Everybody, see, come on! We are family. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. I got all my sisters with me. Nice! We are family. Sing it to me! 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 Sing and to moan, cue the graphics. It's BGMT's moment to moan. <sighs> you can moan about anything you want. You expect the men's toilets to be disgusting. And they can be. Because men generally are disgusting. They can be... So when you walk into the female toilets and they're disgusting, it always surprises You know where they don't flush the chain properly oh, or there's dirty. mess everywhere. Really? I'll literally walk in and walk out. So in walk. reality, you're stopping Alicia Dixon, <laughs> one of the biggest judges in the country, from having a... <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, we thought we'd put your superhero powers to the test oh, because we thought that your superhero superpower would be MC, right? Of course. <laughs> so put a bump and flex. Yay! Exactly. <laughs> Just when you hear it, you're like, that's Alicia. <laughs> Look, so, the girls have gone mad in the studio. They were, when they were out on the weekend, they're like, that's So, what, what we thought to. we would do is you've got a copy of Lightning Girl there, Ems. So we'll I give have. you a copy of Lightning Girl. Oh, no. uh, and we'll pick a page. And then I thought that maybe. You could give us a little oh, bit. No. So, so, so scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing mum dance? No, I'm mum oh. dancing in the corner. This is awful. I feel so. <laughs> anyway, I'll help you. Oh my god. I could do a bit of. So, oh, you got to do this now. You got a page? Just give it a go. Give us a. Okay, so we're going to do. 
Nanny Bean chuckled as she witnessed my reaction. My mouth had become very dry from hanging open for so long. I was in complete, utter shock. Yeah, my grandmother, who everyone thought was a sweet, slightly bonkers, retired old lady. <laughs> had a secret underground lair. Yeah, my grandmother, <laughs> Nanny, Nanny Bean. Beam. 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 Who likes talking to chickens and alpacas? Has an underground lair. High tech security with laser security system. Wow. What is happening there? What's Happy happening here? here? I think the biggest act to surprise me so far um, has to be the dog that hypnotised Simon Cowell and put him to sleep on the desk. And you so can't tell us what volume's up for, you can. Give us an idea. They're a couple. Okay. With a twist. Swingers. <laughs> Do you know what? Who knows these days? <laughs> oh, it's just endless. He's, he got naked. Oh, he I didn't. pulled his pants he did, down. He got naked. But that's because of occasions. you. Well, he or pulled he, his trousers down and he was right by me, so I'm not going to miss that no, opportunity. Golden buzzer, has there been any competition on who can get there first? Have you wanted the same person? Well, I nearly pressed it for Simon's, and he doesn't believe me when I say I selflessly held back because I thought she'd be a good fit for him. Right. Um, but that's that's good of totally you. of her. It is. That's what she's like. Yeah. Amanda's golden buzzer act is genius. Right. Hers, I think, could win the series. Wow. And David's one, he actually said no to last year. Wow. So that's really good. I bet really that cool. hurt him to say yes this year, didn't it, after that? Well, Was he all right? No, What's he's desperate to be okay. nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that so note, <laughs> David's going to love this interview, isn't he? He is. Uh, I do was... love David. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we love so you, David. Mean. We love you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Going for a little run to work. Not done this before, have we? I don't think we have. Woohoo! Wait for us. Keep on running. Oh, keep oh on my. <laughs> Simon very kindly has <laughs> given me a lift to work. <laughs> Let's do oh this. Let's do this. Why didn't Anton Depp join us? Ah, <sighs> nice to take some time off, isn't it? Enjoy the peace and quiet. Oh, it's bliss. When two hearts are no noise, no interference. Back. Just calm. It's nice just to chill. Will you put a sock in it? I'm trying to relax here. All right. Keep on running. What are Keep you doing? Going for a little run. And what are you wearing? <laughs> He's wearing you. He doesn't even look like me. Girls, hold See me. you later, David. What about me? We haven't got room. What? See you there, so I'm running on my own. <laughs> Seriously, though, Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> <Start to sleep. laughs> I'm not built for running. You liked the teacher, didn't you? There was, yeah, oh, yeah there was a was nice, hot. nice teacher today, who who had a choir of kids actually, and it reminded me of my first crush when I was about five or six years old. I had a crush on a teacher called Miss Kinetta. I love that and, your name. And you Miss Kinetta. His name was Mr. Wilson. <sighs> <laughs> and Miss Kinetta. Quite changing his story. Miss Kinetta had hair like an Afghan hound. Come later. He said every time he sees an Afghan hound, it And when I see an Afghan Kinetta. hound, I think of Miss Kinetta. <laughs> but tell Jamie what you bought Miss Kinetta. I bought Kinetta. her a box of matchmakers. Because they're the cheapest box of chocolates you can you? buy. I was only five or six. It was orange you matchmakers. You were five or six? Yes, and I had a crush yeah, on the teacher. Coffee wow. It's no, never going to go any further. Coffee no. matchmakers. So, wow. uh, no, so I've uh, managed to sneak backstage at the Britain's Got Talent auditions here in Manchester. I'm here with the judges. Guys, thanks so much for talking to me. Welcome. Thanks thank you, Simon. How was the trip? Lovely, thank you. Good. Yeah, very nice. Train? Train, yeah. You didn't like to leave a footprint. Did you come up in your Bentley? It's a, it's a Rolls I, Royce. Actually, <laughs> yes, he just did. So we clear. Yes, he did, because I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what it is, because I have a car that every time I do a mile or I put petrol in, I growed like 10 trees or something. Oh, really? Oh, I, it I, seems I, like there's real science to that. <laughs> yeah, believe you. I believe that one. Well, you go, you, you grow up, <laughs> 10 trees or something. Well, maybe more than 10. So I probably grew a mini... A small forest. ...travelling up here. <laughs> really? <laughs> really, well done, you. Um, he gets uh, funny, I got the, I got the train. Uh, we had to read one the other night, and I'm reading it literally through gritted teeth. <laughs> really? Yeah. Aww. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> <laughs> and half the, half the characters are mine in the first place, I realised. Oh, I got all the ideas from you. Yes. Well, how was that, then? I don't know how you did it, but you did it. 
I use some kind of mind control. Well, you just have obviously, I've obviously influenced you in a lot of ways. So uh, if this interview does lead to the right thing, Jamie, which is a percentage of royalties, <laughs> thank okay. you. Oh, well, no, it's been an absolute pleasure. Show. It's the least I could do. Well, I Listen, interview, I'm you, you have this great laugh. Right. It's this crazy mad laugh. Uh, and I know people pick up on that quite a lot, don't they? Does it bother you at all? I'm slightly embarrassed by it. Old Muttley, Sid James, oh, a crow. What else is some? Who's ever heard a crow a laugh? A dolphin, someone says. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I what mean, about I'm blushing both? saying it. No, um, <laughs> sex. Sex. I have to say that, don't I? I don't... <laughs> Those are the rules. Time! Tell of Sarah! It's about time! Thank you, Brits! <laughs> <laughs> that was so dramatic. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. It's very serious. No, but then... <laughs> Guy that you thought no, because my ex-boyfriend called me up and said, I know you didn't write that about me because I used to love the Hoover. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I was like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but, but are you a... <laughs> 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 hey, it's a lot of <laughs> Are you a... <laughs> <laughs> it's a man and owl act. <laughs> it's a yes from me. <laughs> it's all about A6. <laughs> Do so a bank holiday oh, tomorrow. Yeah, right, right, right. Tuesday. Okay, maybe Tuesday. Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday. 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 There's Alicia Dixon. We're on Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> no, Ed, it's not Strictly. It's Dixon's got talent. Simon Carl Porched. That's so, 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 so scandalous. <laughs> Ed, stop messing about. <laughs> he owns his own company. He's a businessman, yeah! <laughs> Well, you had a bottle of uh, Matthias Rosé <laughs> last time to yourself. She's so classy. You're like a human box of wine. I wear my keys. I wear my phone. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it took me a year to figure out how to spell it. But um, I, thought I quite enjoyed you in some weird way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that's a compliment. It is a compliment. Have you ever tried vanilla and sausage? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's she say? I'm so sorry.